They fucked man up, bro. Smashed the fucking, like a light, like a light on my head, bro. Guys gave us two duvets. He said, one's basically your mattress and one's to cover yourself. Man, I'm not cutting my hair, are you mad? No shave up. Tie man up. Yeah, they're taking turns to bang, man. Biggest hits as a, as a team. I'm gonna say that. Like, definitely over a million quid. <laughs> guys and welcome back to the blue tick show opposite me today we've got all real j dot the top gardener yeah top gardener, okay man. talk to us welcome to the show firstly how are you i'm good still i'm good still. top gardener talk to me a little bit about that <laughs> <laughs> top gardener man you get me if you need a removal let me know man removal oh. of what bro what are you talking about Yo, your trees and that if you <laughs> <laughs> listen for you that know you know it's one of them ones if you know you know and if you don't know you're about to find out so look J Dot, talk to us a little bit about your past history. Mm. How come you're sitting in front of me today and I'm doing a podcast with you all about you being the top gardener? Top gardener, uh, past history. Throw it back, childhood. What was your childhood like? I was good still. Um, Where were you from? Grew up in Cannon Town, Newham. Yeah, East London, big up, trust me. <laughs> um, yeah, and no, I uh, grew up with my sister and my brother. Got an older sister, but didn't that like, grow up yeah, yeah. with her. You get me... Um, Single mum, you get me, uh, went Horsall Primary School, then secondary school, went Kingsford in Beckton. Getting in trouble in school or? Uh, what, secondary school, uh, it's a class clown, man. One of them ones. Yeah, class you clown. You were never in trouble, trouble. Like, I got kicked out like year 11 times, but I, I've already done my yeah, done GCSEs it. and that, you get me? So, but got excluded a couple of times, like, Fights, just normal stuff, innit? That, like, but no, nah, I won't. I won't get enough the roles, innit? It was just I mean? being a kid. As yeah, they are. literally, a little bit of a naughty boy at school. Yeah, and, and the maddest thing is that, like, yeah, that like, parents even then teachers will say, oh, he's got potential, all of that <laughs> stuff, but he just disrupts the class. But I always like, I always got top, top grades, man. Oh, always, you were smart, yeah, then, yeah? smart. You were doing smart. your thing. Yeah, I want no set six, set six <laughs> student. You get me? You always set one or set two. So what changed? What changed? I went from being a smart kid at school to being the top guy. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what it is, it's like, year nine, year nine is when like, I started getting involved in, like, to be honest, even before year nine, I was doing little, little stuff, but it were not anything like, serious. to get me anything serious, just, you get me, when I was in the ends, just rolling with them and them, you get me, but year nine is like, when, when you think you become you're a man, isn't it? Isn't yeah, you, you know it is. It's like, ah, oh, the pocket money wasn't enough, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the pocket money wasn't enough. So that's when I kind of started turning it up. I think I, like, I started off like shotting in school, like just okay, yeah. like crisp, just normal stuff, like crisp, chocolates, drinks. Do you get me? I was just doing up pound man, free drinks and that. You know what I'm saying? If you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, guys? This video is being brought to you by Morris Andrews Solicitors. As you're all aware, we've done a season two all about crime. If you watch that all and you're in any situation like that and need help getting out of the situation, reach out to Morris Andrews Solicitors and see if it's something they can help you with. Remember, there's a defense for every offense. But yeah, no. Um, yeah, so I started like selling stuff in school. Teachers like were complaining and that saying, yo, like you're distracting the class, sell your stuff afterwards. And yeah. then they kind of tried to like put a stop on the students selling stuff in it you get yeah. me so that's when i was in year nine and then yeah i was just like racking up some change that way and then, bro like they, they contacted my mom and that started saying yeah your son's selling stuff in school and in a, <laughs> in a playground at lunchtime and that and then my mom started like that she was she strict bro like i can't lie she had a little breakdown at the time because it's like She's like, oh, this is how it starts type of thing. You get it? She's like, honestly, at the time I was getting a ten, I was getting ten pound a week. You get me? Yeah, like it's not cutting it. No, it wasn't cutting <laughs> it. Honestly, my mom tried, didn't it? Like, you get me? She she was doing her thing. She tried. You get me? Like my brother as well. He had to get money every week at the time. Like obviously, ten pound a week, man. I was I was at it every day, bro. <laughs> like that that would. That would go quickly, like three pound subs. I was playing football at the time, three yeah. pound a week subs, bring me down to seven pounds, bro. <laughs> you get me? Like, so, um, yeah, so she, she con I remember she confiscated my stock them times, innit? 
she confiscated my stock, um, stock, saying like, yo, like she clocked me with a bag because I used to hide it. I, I used to hide it from her, anyways. You know what I mean? I had a big football bag full of stock. I remember Poundland man went there the day before and mash up everything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then yeah, she's confiscating my stock now. And then, bruv, that same morning, that same morning when I was going to school, man, just went back to Poundland. Like, you get me? Yeah, reloaded. Rag, yeah, reloaded. You get me? Free reload. And then, um, yeah, went to school. Teacher started complaining again. Say, yo, like, we rang your mom. She said you, she's taking your stock and you, you're still, you're still you're doing still it. I said, but this is my packed lunch, bro. How can you not tell me how much I'm eating? <laughs> <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? This is, this is, like they say, this ain't your packed lunch. Packed lunch is two crisp maximum sandwich. I said, this is my packed lunch, bro. Yeah? yeah. I put a padlock on my bag. I said, yo, no one's taking my stuff. <laughs> you get me? Put bag. a padlock on my bag, bro. And these times, it was even, it got so peak, I even had to start making that. Like, Girls hold my bag and that, that, and, and just, hey, yo, listen, go to, go to her. Like, oh, you get me? So that's yeah. how it kind of started, isn't it? And then at that, like, year nine, I was bringing in like, what, I was 20, 30 pound every day, bro. Yeah. That, for, at that, at that age, 13, 14 years old, bro. You're, like, that's the belly, you know what yeah. I mean? So look, childhood, realistically, you weren't that bad. Mm. From, no. you, you was quite sensible, to be fair. Yeah. That's just average. You're just hustling, isn't it? Yeah, just doing your thing. Yeah. No one can say, oh, yeah, he was mad naughty in school. Or, yeah. yeah, he was doing this, going mad. No, you was just, just a genuine kid trying to make, trying to make change, some money, man. innit? Trust me. So, obviously, times have changed a little bit from then. I don't think you're making 10, 20 pound a, a day. <laughs> I don't think you're making that any anymore. Um, so, what's going on in your life right now? Talk to us a little bit about that. Because most people know you from... The shit you post on Snapchat, <laughs> the shit you post on Telegram. Um, motivational purposes. Still. Motivational purposes, yeah? Who are you trying to motivate? <laughs> uh, you know, it is just, uh, who am I trying to motivate, man? Just everyone that kind of like, everyone that was, that's in my, posi- that was in the position that I was in, innit? Like, you get me? Just, yo, just get to it, man. Focus on your people. What's going on, guys? If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you scroll down. We're now live on Spotify, so you can watch us while you're driving, listen to us, listen to us while you're in the gym. Pretty much just listen to us anywhere. And make sure you give us a five-star review on Spotify. Thank you. Have you been arrested? Mm. Are you gone to prison? Yeah, I've been in jail still. What was that like? Uh, you know, it is like, fuck jail, in it? Free up the vendor. But I'm still <laughs> like... How long did you do inside? I've done, I done just under three years. Two years, nine months, isn't it? I got a uh, five, do two and a half. But I caught extra days at the time, innit? So I've done, I done like three months and extra days. And what was it like in there? Because most people come out and say, oh, it's not that bad. Da, 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 da. What is it actually like? My experience, I just made the best out of a bad situation, innit? it? you get me? I didn't go in there and like be miserable. And you get me? Yeah, like, a lot of people it. are there. Like You just see people like, I'm losing my hair. And, like, <laughs> but you see people <laughs> fucking like losing their hair, stressed, depressed, like... You get me? I was just in there. I was laughing, smiling all the time. I met new people. I met like some people I met in jail. Like I roll with every day yeah. till now. Obviously, when I was in remand, I thought I was going to bust case. You get me? So I went. Obviously, what did I, you get nicked for? Uh, possession of a firearm. Okay. Yeah. So I thought I was going to bust case. Obviously, evidence came back. Had no prints on the burner. So I was like, yeah, boom, taking it to trial. And it feds have chased me. I've dashed, I've dashed the thing and. I thought like, yeah, I've got a chance. Of my word versus a police officer's yeah. word. You get me? But police officer's one in it. <laughs> you get me? But um, yeah, nah. So once I got, once I got my, I was fucking around on remand. Okay. A lot of my bridgings, I was in Pentaville. A lot of my bridgings are there. We were, in, we were in group chats on our smarties. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> we were on our group chats, smarties, fucking around. Yeah. That living. patterning up the place, you know what I mean? You get me, if you've been in jail, you know what I'm talking about, you know what I mean? So you really got the packs in. <laughs> Listen, you see? eight goes a Z. Eight goes a Z. 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 Yeah. No, no, furthermore, bank. A bank. 50 <laughs> grams. It's, it's bad. bad. It's bad. It's fucking bad, yeah. And, obviously, when I got sentenced, I was like, no, fuck this, man. I'm getting my cat D, bro. You know, get me. I'm getting my cat D. Fuck this. Like, I've got things to come out yeah. to you. Like, I've actually got things going on out here. Like, I'm not... A lot of men in jail, bro, you see, like, they can't even... They can't even buy a canteen, bro. They can't even buy a canteen. They're doing jobs in people's cell to, to get money. They're, like, yeah, some people set up shops to, to get, like... You know make what I mean? Some extra make some extra money. But me, I was like, bro... I'm not doing this banging out thing. 
I'm going to get my cat D and get the fuck out of it, bro. Like, Literally. You know what I mean? And what age did you go to prison? What age was that? Um, just turned 19. That's young. Yeah, nice. What was your mum like when she found out you was going to prison? It was a, it was a surprise, innit? It was a surprise. Did your mum know you was being naughty at this point or was it... Did she know you was doing um, a little shit kind of thing? Do you know what I'm saying? You know, it is. Before I went in jail, like, the yard's been raided. Do you know what I mean? When I was living with my mum, the yard's been raided. I've been nicked a couple of times. Do you know what I mean? Like, and so she kind of knew man was up to no good, but in her eyes, look, like, I ain't been jail in it. So yeah. whatever I'm doing. And I used to hide a lot of stuff away from my mum. <laughs> You have Before to I went to Joe, innit? Yeah, I used to hide a lot of stuff. Um, so she she knew, innit? Man's in their ends, bro. Like, she, she, there's altercations where people try to come outside my yard. Man's got to move mad. And so she, you get me? She kind of, she kind of knew, innit? But she didn't, she didn't ever think that man's going to go to jail, innit? Do you know what I mean? So it's like. So you went jail, yeah. come out. Yeah. You're, you must be 20, what, 2? 21, 22 ish? Mm. What was the first thing that you got to then? Because obviously, most people, when they come out of jail, they say, you know what, boom, I'm going to be a better person. I'm not going to go back into the crime. And then you've got other people who come back and say, you know what, fuck that. I want to stick to crime. <laughs> uh, when what, I was, what happened with you? What was the crack? When I came out, when I came out of jail, obviously, I've done nine months in, i done, uh, yeah, nine months in Cat D. Okay. So I've done my three months lie down. And, um, I was in and out for yeah. like the rest of the remaining six months in it. So I was patterning, patterning what I had to kind of pattern. When I came out, I was on a license curfew, 7 p.m. curfew, innit? Early. Bro, that same day, I went Costco, bought like two grand worth of bottles. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, I threw a fresh home party. You get me? Hey, yo, what the brother? Gee. Sorry. My boy at the time, I can't see who you'll see. He had, a, he, had like a, he had like a weed calf at the time, innit? Um, yeah, so I ran through a party in there. Like, like 200 people come, like 120 girls, 80 man. Good ratio, so you get living. me? Yeah, so obviously, um, yeah, that like, I was on the 7 p.m. curfew, but I said, fuck that, man. Like, 7 p.m. curfew for what? I've just done basically three years. Like, you lot allow me, you get me? And um, yeah, threw a fresh home party. And then I was pissed out of my face. Drink driving on the same day, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Drink driving on the same day. These times I just cut myself a Range Rover at the time, innit? Yeah, so I come out. So this is the first week you're out? First day. First, first, day. first day I come out. First day I came first out. First day you're out. You're, oh, you're yeah, out. first day I come out, I, I, I caught to Range Rover. Innit? I caught to Range Rover and Cat D. <laughs> yeah, so I, I caught it on my home leave and Cat D, basically, yeah? And then obviously... I just told my brother, yo, run with it. My brethren's all running with it, whatever. And then when I come out, they come pick me up, jumped in it. I was insured in that. And then, yeah, just went Costco through the party first day. Imagine that uh, the party's finished. The party's finished. I'm meant to be at home from 7 p.m., you know. Like, yeah, was you get me? <laughs> yeah. Early hours of the morning. <laughs> like two, three o'clock. Feds are behind me. Yeah. I'm with my brethren. My brethren's in the passenger seat. Yeah, I, I want to talk to you about this bridging as well, car. I mean, we might get into it. But you, <laughs> the same bridging that was in the passenger seat, yeah? yeah? My fresh home, when I came fresh home, he's in the passenger seat. Man's got three girls in the, three girls in the back, yeah. two girls in the boot, bruv. Yeah? <laughs> You're taking a piss. That's <laughs> going back to, taking a piss. Going back to my AP, I, I, I was, um, when I came out of jail, I was in a, a two-bed AP with my bridging in it. We're okay. just going halves on the rent. I was living in Ilford at the time. Yeah, bro, feds are behind us. I'm pissed at my face. First, first day out, yeah. Like, pro like yeah, properly yeah. out. Yeah, I've been out from Cat D, but properly but, out. Properly out, so yeah. Kind of thing. Feds are behind me. I'm like, oh my days. I looked at my bridge and I said, yo, I said, listen, you know how girls get, man, a lot of them, they probably even, even got no money on them or anything, yeah. I went in my bag, I put money on the, on the like, armrest, like, not armrest, the, the thing, the compartment yeah, thing. Yeah. I said, listen, I might have to decamp this vehicle, you know. Decamp me if these if they put on these blue lights, I'm 100 percent over the limit. I might have to decamp this car. That's money for you lot's cab, bro. Yeah, <laughs> they kept me. But then yeah, they didn't get onto us. Well, no one pulled you. Nah, they didn't, they didn't pull us still. Lucky no, though. But that lucky. was the first day out. That would have been straight back. Recall. Straight back. No straight joking. back. But you yeah, know, but I did end up getting recall, but like it wasn't even my fault, man. And how many times have you been in jail? 
um, so in I've the got, UK. I've got in the UK. Uh, I've done a sentence. Yeah. So I've only done one sentence and two recalls, isn't it? Okay. And now the sentence you've done abroad. Uh, Abu Dhabi. What was that like? <laughs> But I imagine that That was recently So this oh, is shit, Christmas re- just gone What just three months ago Yeah Christmas just gone Oh swear yeah, How long down. was you in there for Two weeks Two weeks yeah, two I bet weeks. that was hell oh, Listen <laughs> I, Listen yeah I'll rather do Six months in Pentonville Than two weeks In al Wafba. That's the joke man. Like, it, was, it was mental What was it like uh, So And what did you get Nick for firstly t- Till now I couldn't tell you well, the, till even... now there's not one piece of paper with my name on it and my offence on it <laughs> so, one minute one minute one minute how and where did they nick you at the airport Abu Dhabi airport so you just landed so just landed yeah obviously just landed in Abu Dhabi obviously you've gone I was with my brother and Dylan in it yeah we've um, gone to exchange money yeah you know yeah. exchange your money boom boom Get a SIM card, make sure you got data, all of that stuff. So you're still in the airport at this point? We're still in the airport. Yeah. We're walking out. Obviously, like 30 people have gone ahead of us, or well, 20 people walking out past customs, innit? But customs come, they start running up to me and my brethren, like, passport, 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 like type of thing. You get me? Uh-huh. I can't lie, like, we'll be in cheeky, but. Wrong place to be cheeky, bro. Wrong country to be cheeky. Bro, like, uh, you get me, like, so the passport, was, we're like, we're like, oh, why do you lot want our passports for? Like, yeah. oh, we want to check your bags. We want to check your bags, innit? We're like, bro, cool, innit? No problem. This is the airport. We'll let you lot you check our bags. Want, but why? We want to know why, innit? Because you lot are just That's standard. That's normal as well. That's fair enough. You asking why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we're, we're asking why, innit? They like start saying the guys start saying, oh, if everybody in the airport starts asking us why, there w- there wouldn't be an airport basically. Like, they, yeah. like airports wouldn't exist. We said, look, bro, like, yo, like, why are you targeting us? Do you understand yeah. what I'm saying? Like, why are you targeting us? We're getting back and forth and that, and then obviously we've dropped the race card, didn't it? To so yeah, get me that, like, I dropped the race card, and I said, well, wait, wait, because I'm black, like, black. Do you get me? Ah, yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah, you're disrespecting me, blah blah blah. We say, listen, you're gonna open up the bag, and you're not gonna find anything. Yeah. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're not gonna find anything. Obviously, my man's called the police. Police has come. You know, let him search the bag. We're like, cool, in it. Searching the bag. As he's searching the bag. We're laughing in it because they're proper. There's yeah, there's nothing in there. You get me? Like, what well, man's, you think man's bringing yeah, what? Yeah, what do you think was that, bro? Like, you mad? So you search in the bag, we're laughing at that. Obviously, they didn't like the fact we we're being cheeky. Do you get yeah. me? Yeah. Like, because at first, when, when the police come, my brother and Dylan, like, he's opened his bag right in front of where, like, even the public can see, like, okay, like everyone yeah, can yeah, see. Yeah. So he's like, yo, search the bag. And after the guys are like, no, we're not searching it here. We're going to search it around the back. Do you understand what I'm saying? So they, so really they don't, don't like the way you look. Yeah, acting, yeah, we don't, they don't like the way we're conducting ourselves. You're like, yo, search the bag here. Like, go on, look, look, he's all pulling Open out his clothes. Like, like, look, there's nothing in there. Like, <laughs> they're like, no, like, we're going to close the bag. We're going to bring it, we're going to bring it to the back. What not, what not. So they, they just didn't like us already, yeah? Cool, they're searching it, we're laughing. So you're not wasting your time. Like, is this like what you don't get paid? Like, no, just being cheeky, thinking it's the UK. They've searched the bags now. Next thing you know, the feds are escorting us. The feds are escorting us, they're screw facing us, they're escorting us to some back room in the airport. So now, cool, hour goes past. So you're just chilling in a room now? We, yeah, we're just chilling in and some you, some waiting room. You read your boy? Yeah, me and my boy, yeah. Our goes past. I'm like, yo, Dylan, why are we still here, man? He's like, oh, I don't know, man. <laughs> Probably just going to give us a little warning and just we're, we're going to be on our way. The, he, the guy was basically saying, the customs officer was saying that like, you're disrespecting me. And saying we're disrespecting. Right. Oh, this is my country. Watch. This is my country. Watch. That's what he was saying at the time. You get me? Yeah, like, I was gone past now. Saying to my brethren, like, yo, why are we still here? He's just like, oh, we're probably just getting talking to him. Just, just tell Keep us to fuck off You get me Keep it moving Bro 12 hours later We're still there 24 hours later We are still there Just sitting in a room Just sitting in a room We're saying yo Like They're walking in and out It's like yo What's going on that It's like oh yeah uh, You lot got to see a prosecutor Or whatever Like You get me The law over there The justice system over there Is different to ours You get me <laughs> Bro Next thing you know When cells Like they took us to some Cells in the airport, yeah. We're in cells in the airport now. That like, two, three days are gone past, bro. And then 
after the third day they're like oh yeah you lot are gonna go get your fingerprints uh done and then you're gonna get a flat back to the uk we're like yeah cool 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 cool, cool. Send me. like yeah send me send me send me like bro bun this country bro yeah <laughs> bun this place bro that like, send me back to the uk so we're thinking yeah we're gonna go get our fingerprints done they're gonna send us back to the uk it's like what can i book my flat right now yeah boom boom like we're gassed because We've been sitting in the cell and saying, well, why are we still here? <laughs> we, all we've done was argue with a customs officer. Like, and now you've been sitting there three days. Yeah, we've been sitting there three days. It got to the point where man's, man was there during the Argentina and France um, final, innit? Yeah. Yeah, man's there. Uh, we're all asking the fucking police officers, yo, who's winning? What's like? the score? What's, What's the score, score <laughs> bro? We was thinking, yeah, we're going to watch that over there. You get me, nice scenery, whatnot, yeah, you whatnot. Would, you would enjoy that shit. Bruv. Cool. So they said, boom, you're going to go to a place. You're going to get your fingerprints. Next thing you know, man's getting fucking uh, um, foot cuff, um, ankle cuffs, bruv. Fuck yeah, off. ankle cuffs into like a, their type of circle bus. Swear down. Yeah, like caged up. Like it's not a circle bus, but it's yeah, like yeah, a circle yeah. bus. Yeah, caged up. I looked at my bridge and bro, why they got fucking <laughs> handcuffs in? I've never been put in fucking feet, cuff. an, <laughs> feet cuffs, bro. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I'm saying to my bridge and like, yo, like, Bro, why are they why are they putting us in um feet? I, like, I don't know, man. Uh, we're just gonna get our fingerprints. We're gonna go anyways. You get me? Of course. Cool, so imagine, and get to this place. It's a fucking jail, bro. It's a jail. Like yeah, we're in the reception. Till now, we haven't processed that we're going jail. We're just thinking we're getting our fingerprints and you're done. Going back on a plane and we're home. Getting back on a plane home. And they just wanted to register us or something. Yeah. That's what we're thinking. Cool. So now. They're being a bit rude. The, that it's not govs that control the jail. It's police officers. They have police officer written on the uniform. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So they're, they're, they're my prisons and they're doing Dylan's um, fucking Prince. fingerprints. Yeah. And it was like, oh, like what, 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 what happens now? Can I book my flight? They're like, go, 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 go. Like they're being mad rude. You get me? I'm thinking, fuck, like, bro, like, go on, wait in there. There's an appointment in the waiting room now. I forget. Oh my days, like, We're are you sure that's getting home, bro? Yeah. <laughs> Come my time, I'm just being a humble with it. You get me? Like, just, I don't even want, I don't even want no drama. Oh, fingerprints, yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, all of that stuff, yeah, <laughs> cool. See, so, go in the waiting room. <laughs> go in the waiting room, dinner, dinner's like, Jada, we're getting Joe. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what we love in the back, but fuck. Bro, that. you see, if my mum was a normal person, bro, you'd be trauma test for life, you know, like, mum's life, like, I'll get into it, yeah. So, cool, it's like, yeah, we're getting Joe. You reckon? So, yeah, we're getting jail, bro. Like, look at the way they're like, dissing man, fam. Like, boom. The guy comes in, boy. You, you don't think he'll get the poli one police officer comes in, he says, Wait, you don't think he'll get? You don't know. Well, minimum, you stay here minimum five months, bro. What, he's speaking English as like, well? He's like, speaking yeah, English. Yeah. He says, Oh, minimum, when you come here, minimum five months. Do you get me? Oh. And that's when reality, you're like, <laughs> oh, that's what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> boom. Cool, now they're taking us to induction, yeah? <laughs> to the induction wing now. Bro, the outside looked amazing. Yeah? Yeah. Like, obviously, it's Joe. Yeah, not, yeah, But yeah. the outside looked well built. What the, what the. Gone inside, it's a mad thing, bro. <laughs> like, bro, it's all water on the floor. Like, man's always all having to. They gave us, they took us shit. They gave us fucking flip flops, innit? Made man wear flip flops. We're wearing flip flops, bro, yeah? That old man's all stepping around the water, whatnot, whatnot. Bro, man can see like 20 men in one cell. I'm like, I'm looking at Dylan. Oh my. What? <laughs> we're fucked. Bro, we're fucked. It's <laughs> game over, bro. We're done. Bro, we are fucked, yeah? Bro, this is Abu Dhabi, by the way, not Dubai. Because yeah. a lot of people get mixed up. Some people think Dubai is a country, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, yeah. It's a, you get me? UAE. We're in Abu Dhabi, yeah? Walking around the water. I'm like, Dylan. The guys give us a fucking uh, two duvets. He said, one's basically your mattress and one's to cover yourself. <laughs> Yo, you're finished. You're man's finished. on the bro. Man's walked in there, yeah. We see about in our cell. There's like 50 men there already. In one cell. Yeah, one cell, but like it's a big cell. It's yeah, not it's small. big in it. It's not like yo, man's on top of each other. Yeah, no, yeah. like yo, like, but it's still men are on the floor, bro, in the dark. Do you understand what I'm saying? And what? There's no beds. There's not. You're just no beds, bro. Like in the induction, there's no beds. Do you get me? On the floor. You're on the floor, bro. Do you understand what I'm saying? Bro. Boom. I'm saying to all this for talking. <laughs> like, literally, bro, I ain't even done nothing. I ain't even done it. <laughs> Boom. We're there now, yeah? That Obviously, a lot, of them don't, a lot of them don't speak English as well, but there's a couple that spoke English. So, like, yo, what's going on? Like, how does this work? Like, when are we getting that? I used to saying, listen, that like, tomorrow, 
um, they're gonna cut our hair off, innit? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Mom's what? Like, tomorrow they're gonna cut our hair off. <laughs> yeah. what? what did you I say? Like, I said, like, what? What do you mean, Mom? Yeah. Anyways, that like, that apparently induction the next day they come they cut up, cut up everyone's hair. That's what the guy's saying. The next day he's come now. Uh, Mike can see like movement. Mike can see movement. That same day they brought food. Me and my brethren, we didn't eat. The whole time we was there, we were just eating fruits. I said, yeah. yo, that food is rank. <laughs> like, I can't lie, like, man, respect everybody's culture, but the way they're doing things over there... It's mad. It's mad, bro. Man's, man's a, <laughs> what's it, scornful. Man yeah. can't, bro, like, bro, even my own family get onto me about sharing food and, like, I, like, I said, what, you think you're better than us? Like, well, why, why don't you yeah. want to eat from the plate, our plate and that? You know, like, but I've just always been like that from yeah. young, like, it's... All, all this hands and man mixing this and grabbing that like I'm yeah, not on that. that do you understand what I'm saying so boom like the food's coming I said nah nah good everyone's just all you get me they're all like oh, I was just mad bro yeah I just said yo just look I'll swap my food just give me your orange yeah I'll swap, <laughs> swap my food for oranges yeah, yeah? <laughs> eat oranges cool so imagine the next day now yeah o uh, officers come one guy bro he just comes with the clippers he starts Pointing at, pointing at people. Swear to God. Me and my brother, like, pop, pop. Man, I'm not cutting my hair. Are you mad? <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, no, bro, like, no shape up. You, like, just, no way. You can't lie. You're in an army cast, yeah. bro. Bro, so, everyone's thinking, me and my brother, we're hiding under the covers, isn't it? <laughs> and then one officer comes, he's got like, an army uniform. Like That means he's more important. Yeah, yeah. Right? Like I've got like a camo, ca not, not yeah, camo uniform. It means it's more like on top of everyone else. So he's looking and making sure everyone's cut their hair. But me and my bridging are there. My bridging's hair was kind of high. My one's a bit like this, yeah. <laughs> it's like you, you, you look cut, cut hair, cut hair. We're like, we're not cutting our hair. Yeah. My man's done like a posture. Like, what do you mean you lot are not cutting your hair? Type of thing. Like you are cutting your hair. So, bro, we're not cutting our hair. Yo, like, man, I want to speak to my embassy, bro. Yeah. yeah for real. I said, listen, British, British. <laughs> we was just screaming in there saying, British, British, yeah. British, British. No cut hair, no cut hair, yeah. <laughs> bro, imagine. Boom, man was like, okay, one second. Man was like, okay, one second. I'm saying to my brother, oh, yo, this is going to get, this is going to get, Dylan's a bit stu more yeah. stubborn, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be honest. I think it was, if I was in there by myself, you would have got your hair I cut. I think my hair would have been <laughs> right now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep it real. <laughs> fuck that, fuck that. Like he's stubborn, isn't it? Like he's like, fuck that. I, like, man. I, I don't know. I don't know if I want this smoke, bro. And the like, worst thing this is, is the worst thing is you've not done nothing. I've not done anything. This is right now. The way Batman's coming is like he's about to give us some illegal <laughs> smoke. Like African, yo, hey, yo, Dylan, you know what? Like, but I don't I'm mind always, guy, I, I've always wanted to see how I look like bold. Do you get me? Like, I wanted to see how I look like bold. Oh, like, fuck that man's not cutting it. Like, bro, how are we gonna get out of this? Cause my man looks like he's gone to call some backup, bro. Yeah, <laughs> he's about to get a he's, like, he's like, bro, you know what we say? I said, like, what? So like, let's just say we're Rastafarian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yo, let's say we're Rastafarian. So I'm like, <coughs> I said, bro, that's a good one because that's a like, that's yeah. a religion, bro. I'm like, so yeah, so guy come back with like five officers, bro. They were ready to cut her hair, bro. <laughs> they were, they were yeah, cutting they say hair. he's coming like cut, cut, cut. You cut, wallah, you cut. Yeah, he's like wallah, wallah, you cut. Yeah, and like, bro, we're not cutting our hair, like. Well, obviously, I'm with my no, yeah. no, no, no. In my head, I'm thinking, this is let's just cut, let's just cut her hair, bro. He yeah. <laughs> said, nah, fuck that. Then like, fuck that, boom. So we're not. I said, why, why are you not cutting? Then they started reasoning with us. Yeah, we're like, well, we're Rastafarians. You get me? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> we're not cutting our hair. They're like. Rasta, the guy like Rasta what? Like basically pointing at my hair saying that like, it's short, isn't it? Yeah. I said, Baba, I, Baba, I turned Rastafarian one month ago, bro. I'm like, you, I can, I, I can bro, You can't I, tell me when I can. You can't tell me, cause. exactly. I can change my religion right now, bro. You yeah. can't tell me that. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, so, bro, if anything, you'll be happy for me to take my shahada, bro. So, yeah. like, bro, I can change my religion at any time. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm saying, I'm Rastafarian. Right I am now, Rast I'm Rastafarian. <laughs> right now, I'm Rastafarian. You're not cutting my hair. And then one UAE guy, that spoke kind of good English was basically saying to them, like, yo, like if you was in the UK, Joe, and they told you you can't pray five times a day. You're gonna go mad. You're, yeah, you're not gonna listen to them, bro. And when he, <laughs> he's patting them for us like that, and the guy's like, oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. It's just, it's just, they just allowed it. You understand what I'm saying? So it's just allowed it. Now, nah, cool. Man, move on, move off induction onto a different place. 
There's beds in this place, but all the beds are taken, bro. And you've not been told nothing at this point. No, no one no. said, yo, you're being nicked for no X, Y, and Z. No one's told us nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Just moving us about, ruled over prisoners. I said, I'm saying, saying to the guys in there, yo, when can I get my, when can I get a phone call, bro? Yeah, I like, need a phone call. So someone. I listen, so saying, look, yeah, like, obviously when we get to the, when we get to like the dorm, it's like a dorm, it's like a dorm. Yeah. It's like a kind of like, you get me like, there's like 10 beds on each cell type of thing. And then bear man just sleeping on the floor. Do you get me? <laughs> so man's obviously gone into this dorm. Nah, and I'll see like some Nigerian and Cameroonian brothers, innit? Yeah. Yeah, they, obviously they were speaking French. The Cameroonian guys are talking French. And it's like, oh, that, this one looks like a Cameroonian. And I am, I'm, Camer I'm half Cameroonian and half Congolese. So obviously man's, man's hearing them. And then obviously man's butted in their conversation type of thing like in French innit I said yeah like yeah man's camera said ah yeah cool cool come to come to our door innit you get me yeah. yeah they were just there for like visa visa issues or whatever innit so me and my bridge and me and Dylan have gone there to their thing but all the beds were taken up innit so man just like See, man, they even want to do that bad up thing because the way they just walk, walk a man in yeah. it. So, man, just, yeah, put my, put my... Mattress do a little thing uh, down. The duvet on the floor. Boom. You get me? Because they, they had mattresses and I don't want to bad up the place. Like, I'm not come, gone there for confrontation. You get me? They just show my love. Man, just sleeping on the floor, whatnot, whatnot. They're telling man how it kind of works. works getting an understanding of the jail now. Boom, boom. A couple of days later, a couple of days later, one officer comes. And you got you got money, you got money, type of thing. Like I'm like, you got money? He was like, yeah, yeah, we got money, we'll pay right now, we'll pay right now. Like, you get me, how much, how much, how much? <laughs> yeah. And the guy, the guy obviously it worked out to be basically like four thousand pounds each in it. Yeah. To get out of prison. Yeah. To That's get calm. for like for like a crime that I don't even know, even know I don't even know I committed. You understand what I'm That's saying? That's fucked though. But yeah, ended up um basically so it gets more interesting now. It's like yeah, boom. So now, phone up there, they let us make our phone calls, innit? And the maddest thing is, they're all moving strict with, with everybody else. Cars like, we were the only British people in there at the time. They were giving us more leeway, fam, because apparently they're scared of British people, innit? Right, yeah, fair enough. You get me? They're giving them more leeway, but the other youths, they were giving them two minute phone calls, yo. Off. Go back, go back to your wing now. Go back to your dorm, like, boom, gone. Us. They let them let us make a couple phone calls. You understand? But they try to make it. They try to make it difficult for us because we're like, yo, man's got money in reception. Can man pay with the money in reception? They're like, no, 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 no. You gotta send someone that's in this country to a place called Injaz. Yeah. Okay. Injaz to go pay your fine. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's like Western Union kind of thing. Yeah, something like that. But yeah, luckily, yeah. You had someone there. Man had someone there. Do you understand what I'm saying? And I want no like you that ain't got got eight grand, he's got the P, you know, yeah, man's yeah. gonna, man's gonna cover that as soon as man step out, you understand? So, bro, luckily, my man has gone and paid the, pay the P, and then, they still had man in there. Well, even after he's paid? After, after he's paid, something about it, he's got a process, what, what, no. at the time, we don't know that, we just made our phone call to our guy, said, have you paid that? He's saying, yo, yeah, it's been paid, boom, boom, boom. So, lunchtime, they've been flagging us, flagging us um, all day, the officers, they don't even speak English, a lot of them, yeah? L lunchtime comes and telling us to go get a lunch. We're like, no, no, no. We don't want to go get no lunch. We want to leave. We're, we're walking down here. Yeah. We'll say, we want to leave, bro. We're not hung I'm not hungry. I don't want to eat nothing. The guy's like, yalla, 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 yalla. You don't understand what I'm saying <laughs> yeah. to him. You understand what I'm saying? Yalla, yalla. I'm like, brother, I paid my peas, bro. Four, four thousand, four thousand. I think it was, I think, I don't know. What does it work out to? I think like six, 16,000 like dirhams. Times four, no? Yeah, times yeah, four. Yeah, yeah. saying 16,000 16, yeah, yeah. dirhams. Yeah, like, nah, I paid my dirhams. I want to go, bro. I paid my money, bro. Like, do you understand? I was like, yalla, 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 whatever. Nah, obviously, I'm, I'm saying, listen, I'm trying to reason with a the guy. Dylan's no, trying to yeah. reason with a guy. The guy's not having it. Yeah. Guys ended up grabbing, man. The, the officer, police officer. Remember, it's not <laughs> govs, you know. It's police officer. Day. Grab, man. So, man just gone, get off of me. Like, yeah, like, push like, 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 get off of me type of thing. You understand what I'm saying? My man just cracked me in my face, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Swear down. <laughs> Bob's life, bro. Man. Crack man in my face. I'm like, I'm like what? <laughs> Did you get it? Then he's pressed something. Bro, eight, nine officers have come running. Yeah, me, Dylan, running up the stairs now. <laughs> boom, 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 back to like our dorm time thing. They're chasing us, yeah. They've grabbed us, dashed us in the room. Yo, they fucked man up, bro. Oh, serious? Bro, serious thing, bro. They broke man up. Like, bro, like, 
seven, eight of them. Just yeah? punching you up. Punching man up. And when man's kind of going to react, every time I get into this kind of react, like, yo, chill, like, they're like, 15 years. 15 years. So what, if you're going to hit them back, they're screaming 15, 15 years. years. <laughs> bro, what do you do? <laughs> like, yo, chill. With the one knee up, you don't yeah, know what I'm doing. Literally. Up, like, yo, chill, like, I just want to know when I'm getting on. Bam, bam. Smash the fucking, like, a light. Like a light on my head, bro. Like, <laughs> bam, like, bam, from the office, yeah. Grabs a laptop, bam, back, and man, I'm like, chill. Grabs a stick, started whacking me and Dylan, whacking us. I was like, yo, relax, bro. Like, we just want to know we paid our money. <laughs> Whoa, are you crazy? You touch police. Whacking us up, bro, yeah. I'm like, chill. Boom. <laughs> Threw us out of the fucking building now, put us in cuffs, leg cuffs, left cuffs, um, leg cuffs, all of that, yeah. So I'm like, imagine that. Oh, me and Dylan, like, we're, we're in like a kind of hallway. Oh, I'm saying, bro, bro, <laughs> we need to get yo, the fuck man, out of here. <laughs> you know, like, bro, man, screaming at 15 years. I'm even shook now. Nah, my man's basically trying to say, man, hit him. He's saying that when I went, when I went, when I went, get off of me. Yeah, you, he's basically he's classing that as assault. I pushed him, assault. So they're saying, yeah, 15 years. So I'm like, bro, we're thinking it's all done 10 minutes later. They've tied us up to gates. They started beating us again, bro. Swear down. Mom's like, so they proper smash you up in Bro, there. until now, bro, yeah. But my last fight, I couldn't even feel my right hand properly, bro. Because of them. My nerves, like, they put their handcuffs so tight on my thingy. Like, Dylan's, Dylan's laughing, yeah. I, 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 like, they've got their handcuffs behind us and that, yeah. After, after the beating's done. When the beating's done, we're not really laughing. Like, yeah. The beating didn't even hurt. But it's just like, you're, yo, shocked. you're more in shock. More in shock than like, bro, these lot really got man tied up to a game. And they're punching man up. Punch a man up. <laughs> like, like, bro, like, real talk. The guy is saying British. <laughs> like, we don't like British. We don't care if you're British. The guy said, we don't care if you're British. Like, British. <laughs> like, tie a man up. Yeah, they're taking turns to bang, man. <laughs> and it didn't really hurt, but man just had to make the, do the, the, the noises. Like, yeah, cool. To, so to, they, to they think it's like, hurting. A, a bit of sympathy. Like, oh, yo, ah. Yeah, get all of that stuff, yeah? Cool, when that's all done, when they've like fucked off around the corner, they left us in the hallway. Me and Dylan are looking at each other. We're like, we're smiling. But they put my handcuffs so tight where I'm saying to Dylan, yo, yo, but our man's in pain, man. I said, yo, man's in pain. Dylan's laughing and that. Yo, I said, Dylan's not funny, bro. Like, your handcuffs ain't as tight as mine, bro. Like, yeah. I said, yo, bro, they, they can't even hit hard enough. I said, yeah, no, I know that they're dickheads and that, but bro, my handcuffs. So since then, bro, my nerves, like, it's getting better it. now. But at the time, I could, like my two fingers here, like they were, they were Done. fucking numb, couldn't feel nothing. Rawr. Understand? Ended up getting out anyways. Yeah, like yeah, the, the guy basically said like, uh, the fifteen years is dead in it. You lot paid your money, you go in it. Well, so just like, that same day, said so just get out. No, no, not same day. Still, that that same day, we got put in block solitary confinement. <laughs> yeah, literally, bro. And it's mad car. Like they left us in that hallway till the next morning, and the next morning. They kind of even the next morning, the whole morning after, yeah, cause cause like disciplinary stuff don't really happen in that jail because it's so strict. Th that's news of the jail. Yeah. So every Everyone. even the govs that I police officers that I ain't seen, already know who man is. T troublemaker, you you was like nah, bro, no, I'm not a troublemaker. Bro, Dubai, so, Abu Dhabi, that that UAE is different. So it's like yeah, so boom, obviously, the next morning. When they're bringing us to solitary confinement, they're even trying to make man skank. Like, like they, they're like, like, Swear like, to like, God. like, like, bro, so they, <laughs> the next morning, yo, yo, bro, like, you like, beat us already. Like, leave, me alone, leave me alone, bro. Beat us. Have no we want to embassy, our, our embassy. When, bro, the maddest thing is, yeah, when, when, yeah, Dylan rang the embassy, yeah, and started saying, listen, like, they're, bro. They're battering like, us. Like, like, bro, you lot need to get us out of here. We paid our money. What's going on? Man, they ain't even, like, like obviously, bro, they didn't offer us no toothbrush, toothpaste. What? They cut his phone call, bro. And then what happened? They, cut the, they was listening to the phone call from a different thing. And they just when cut my it. man started going in, they cut the phone call. So, but what? Yeah, that's yeah, mad. trying to talk on us. Cut the phone call, bro. So then they let you out, obviously. Boom, you're out of the country. You ever allowed back? I uh, know, man, man's allowed back still. But you're not going back. <laughs> no, it is. I won't go. I'll just go straight to Dubai this time. Man. Have you been to Dubai since? Uh, not not since, no. no you, you know what it is, though? I can't lie. I've heard some funny stories about a man paying their fines, going back and still getting gripped. Because we didn't end up seeing no prosecutor. We didn't end up seeing no judge. So 
Dylan saying to man, yo, are you sure man just ain't paid paid bell money, fam? <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, are you sure it's not <laughs> bell money that we pay? Because you don't all, know what you're paying. All till now, man ain't got no paper with my name on it. So when you left, nothing? Nothing. Nothing. Just get, out of, get the fuck yeah, out. Yeah, cool. You lot, yeah, we've seen the payment. Fuck off. I, I can't lie. When I come out, I wanted to stay. I wanted to stay a couple of days, but then I said, like, nah, fuck this, man. I'm taking the first flight back. So, so I just say, cool, whatever. Innit? So clearly Abu Dhabi ain't the best place for you. Nah, it's too strict. That, that, that place don't run with it's you. It's too strict, bro. And the maddest thing is, yeah, obviously, obviously when we come out, yeah, Tion's phone, man, innit? Tion's phone, man. It's like, bro, 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 what happened to you? Like, like, obviously, we're bantering about it. Yeah, we're man. laughing. And I said, bro, I don't know how you get away with fucking throwing hands on a plane, bro. Car. For real. Like, Bro, man fucking spoke out a line and got gripped. <laughs> Do you get me? But yeah. So, so clearly, Abu Dhabi, that, that, that place you can't go. Let's let's leave that. Forget it's about that. Dead. Bro, what was this thing, yeah, mm. that went viral all over socials about you getting picked up by some elbows? Obviously, yeah. That was a, obviously, that was a publicity stunt. You get me? Okay, okay, okay. So obviously, a lot of people think that man's got... Problems with Albanians, in it. Tell me, like, well, all of them. They think I got problems with all of them. I <laughs> oh, probably, you get me, like, obviously, when you get up to what I get to, poten there's potential to have, you get me. But now, nah, man's got a lot of Albanian regions, whatnot, whatnot. So, obviously, I was scrolling through uh, Instagram uh, on like a, a page called Newham Street Blogs at the time, innit? Okay. They, they were just posting like, a lot of like stuff in East London, whatnot, whatnot. And I came across one guy called Bobby London, innit? He had like a snippet to a tune. So a man messaged him like, yo, bro, man, fuck with this tune, you know. I can't lie, like, like, you know what? We should remake the song type of thing and just get man on there. And I was like, yeah, 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 I'm on that, I'm on that. Because he had enough shot the video for it type of thing. So yeah, man just went um, uh, went to the studio. We sent each other some stuff yeah. and organized a video shoot in it for the song. And we called it my, my ship da, innit? Like, you get me? We called it called the song my ship da. So it's like, I think that means like my Albanian. I said, like, yeah. my bro, like, Albanian. So, um, yeah, so man was on a thing where man, when man shot the video, a lot of people, because they think man's got like mad beef with every single Albanian, that, which is not the case. Yeah. A lot of people didn't expect the link up, in it. Yeah. So when we shot the video, I'm just there, like, to the. Um, a uh, woman who so so in it so so is the one that shot the video one woman called so so i'm like to her yo you know what i want to do something where man can market this song in it because yeah. obviously what i get up to is like and this song it shouldn't really it shouldn't really correlate if that makes sense yeah so obviously boom i just said to her yo i think that we should act like man's been grabbed been kidnapped by albanians and let the like, like social media get buzzing yeah, before yeah. man drop the tune in it she's like oh what do you mean type of thing i said listen <clears throat> let's act like someone's recording me in the boot of a car yeah but you're recording the whole thing on your camera but so we're gonna start off the video with the phone footage and then you're gonna edit it out and bring the bring actual footage where you can see us filming with a phone you get me but everyone wondering i'm gonna put a clip here so yeah. you lot can just see it somewhere on the screen i said to her yeah so we'll do it like that and then like a day before the tune drops or two days before the tune drop mom will put the phone footage of the kidnap yeah who posted the phone footage um, I done it off an uh, I mean, did you get someone to like anonymous account? Yeah, okay, 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 and then okay. I done it off an uh, anonymous account, and then I done it in tele. I done it in Telegram, innit? I done so it, it Telegram. blew up. And then yeah, when I put it in one of them drill fucking Telegram groups, some crazy groups, yeah. And then from then, <laughs> my phone just started going crazy, like because yeah, the maddest thing is I only told like two people that I was doing the publicity stunt. Even my own bridges are like, yo, Gino, you blessed, like. You get it, and then the social was just getting crazy. I was just acting like I was just acting like I wasn't posting that day, innit? Yeah. So I was just acting like, oh yeah, Jada got kidnapped, yeah, <laughs> and it just went crazy. 
people are all oh, half swipe and messages i can see people like writing like ha ha like you fucking dickhead you got grabbed uh you got caught your time was always gonna come i got genuine people saying yo bro you're right i've seen the video and that you get me some people were saying nah man that that that, that, don't, that, seem real. that don't look real but i'll say the majority were saying yo like my man got gripped do you get me my man got gripped but that was the whole point of it, isn't yeah, it? That that's what you wanted point. you wanted people and it's actually crazy man because that publicity stunt went so mad that like so social media is really like people are really watching that like, next thing you know my mum's getting called by jake's bruv do you understand what, hell, yeah bro. so she's like my mum's rang me panicking are you okay are you okay i didn't know i was gonna get that fucking big bruv do you understand right. it but i'm thinking i right, cool people are gonna question and human are if it's real or not but i think they're well, just gonna run with the <laughs> feds are gonna run with the narrative that yo this guy has currently been ad- abducted fam you understand <laughs> what i'm saying so they obviously rang my mom like yeah like we've seen a disturbing video on the socials type of thing like we think your son's in trouble like you get it because obviously the feds have got my mom's number from well, probably like, everything yeah you get me she mom like i mean but when I've been nicked and when I was younger and she used to come in, whatever, and it, however, they got the number. So everything's just all on a database. So she's writing me like, Yo, are you all right? Yeah. I'm like, Yeah, why? Yeah. And I'm at my house, like, I'm chilling. Are you all right? <laughs> I'm like, You good? Yeah. My mom's like, Are you sure you're good? I said, Yeah. But then I've kind of yeah, got, clocked. I started clocking in it. I said, Yeah. So they like, Oh. Police just rang me saying that they think they've been kidnapped. I said, Mom, listen, calm down, innit? Like, I'm doing a little publicity stunt for my music video coming out. Like, like, let me send send you the video on WhatsApp, yeah, innit? Yeah. She's like, oh my God. I was like, yeah, listen, <laughs> if they ring you back, yeah, just say I'm good. Yeah, just, yeah, I'm good, innit? Now, like, I'm fine. So she's like, oh, they're saying that they're going to come, like, and they're going to come and start kicking off doors and that. What? Like, they need to know that you're 100% safe. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm like, what? So yeah, like they 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 think that you're in that like they think that man's at my mum's house, and someone's like got a gun to me or something. Yeah, that's so. Bad. When when they rang her back, when they rang her back, she's like, oh, he's safe. I spoke to him. They said, no, 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 no. We need confirmation. Yeah, we need confirmation that like, they are harassing my mum and that. Like, yeah. So bro, it's a mad car. Man, ever, like man just gave my number, gave my number out. <laughs> what do you lot want, bro? Like. You get me? I'm I'm good in it. It's a publicity stunt, bro. Like yeah. literally. So Jay, you've had a you've had a bit of a mad past, yeah. Mm. And loyalty must be a massive thing to you, especially yeah. the game you're in, where all it takes is one snitch and you're done. Yeah. What's the most disloyal thing that's ever happened to you? The most disloyal thing that's happened to me. Oh, I have to say, um, one of my brethren's. Um, I can't even call him a brethren's family. I swear. It's, yeah, it's not blood, but it's as good as, as, good as family, isn't it? It's like, um, <clears throat> this was on my first recall. Yeah. So on my first recall, obviously, <clears throat> I knew I was getting recalled, didn't it? So it's like, feds were knocking on my door. Feds were knocking on my door, but I wasn't, I wasn't at my door, but my neighbor's phone man saying, yo, you know, feds are coming to your door the last two days and that. I was like, okay. <clears throat> So the day that I had probation, yeah, I went the day before on okay. a thing where like, yeah, yeah. so I went the day before, I saw my probation officer. She's like, oh, you're not in today. I'm like, oh, is it, is it not today? Is it not today? Like, yeah, yeah. I said, no, you're in tomorrow. I was like, oh, swear. I said, oh, well, can I just see you now anyways? Yeah, type of thing. So it's like, I knew it was tomorrow. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. You know what happens when feds are looking, feds are looking for you, you turn up to probation, isn't it? You're, you're getting gripped at that probation meeting. So I said, yo, let me just, let me just play dumb and go the day before and act like oh, the date's mixed up, innit? Yeah. So, cool, man, sitting in there with my probation officer the day before, she was, and boom, I was like, yo, like, have you recalled me? Do you understand what I'm saying? She was like, I can't lie, like, I've recalled you, innit? Do you get me? It's like, yeah, because police have been knocking on my door the last two days, like, do you get yeah. me? It's like, I've recalled you, innit? Like, but it's only going to be 28 days, isn't it? That's what she said to me. Hmm. I was like, listen, this, give me five days, isn't it? I'm going to hand myself in. Do you get me? She's like, all right, cool. So I've ducked out of there, patterned up whatever I had to pattern up for the like, for five days. And then I said to my brethren, like, yo, make you look after one, two things for man. Yeah, you get me? Less is more. But if you know, you know, innit? 
Um, and then, yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, cool, cool, cool. I said, bro, listen, here's a bit of change for you. Help a man out for the 28 days. Boom, boom, boom. So now, nah, um, I got my bridge to drop me to, I think it was Leighton Stone Police Station or Leighton. I get, I get Leighton yeah, Stone, yeah. Leighton mixed up all the time. Gone there, <clears throat> handed myself in. And obviously, I went there because I knew from there you go Thameside, didn't it? Yeah. And my cousin, my cousin was in Thameside riding a little nine do four and a half. So boom, I spent 28 days with him in it. Fuck oh. it. <laughs> so man's gone there now. Nah. I'm with my cousin, banged up with him. And then, yeah, so man's come out after 28 days. My brethren have come to pick me up. That same guy that man's left in charge of whatnot, whatnot, yeah, has come to um, grab me. And then, obviously, guys have got out of the cars and all of that stuff. But it's only 28 days, but they just got out of the cars and that. They yeah. the fucking Rolls Royce or that Range Rover. So, yeah, boom, let's let's go out and eat, whatnot, whatnot. But then my brethren, cool. He's like, ah, yo, bro, J Dot, look, man's gonna come check you uh, later, yeah. Man's got, um, uh, he said he had his pastor's son's funeral to go to or something. Okay. Like I said, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Say that, link up, link up, link up. Obviously, it's only twenty eight days, but I still, I still gas to be back out here. Like, yeah, cool. Twenty eight days, twenty eight days, isn't it? <clears throat> you get me? So gas to be out here. Yo, let, let's go eat. Oh, yo, what things like? What, what, what? Should we go to that place? Should we go to that? You get me all of that shisha lounge or whatever. Or like, what the girls like to do. Doing that type of thing for like, I was doing that for like the next like two, three days, innit? And after like the third day, I was like, right, cool. Back to work. Like, back to work, like, let me, let me pattern up in it. Like, what, what not? So, obviously, my man had uh, like 15 bags for man, yeah? Yeah. So he had 15 bags to like, that he, like, he held, he was holding for man while I was 28, in for 28 days. So I was on a thing where like, cool, back to work. I've been partying in the last two, three days. So I phoned my bridging up now. I was like to him. I was like to him, yo, bro. Um, yeah, uh, this is before I caught my second second Range Rover, ain't it? Yeah, me. Just before I caught my second Range Rover, yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm like, um. So I, I was gonna use um that some 15 of that bags. some of that pee towards it, innit? So I'm like, yo, bro. We saying, um, I beg you, come drop me on that change when you're ready. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? So now. Um, He's like, yeah, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Two, three hours have gone past now. Still ain't seen him. Yeah? Obviously, the way I worded it was like, it wasn't an urgent thing, innit? Mm-hmm. It wasn't an urgent thing anyways, but in my head, I'm still thinking like, two, three hours, told my man to come drop me my change. Bring me my piece kind of thing. Yeah. Or phone me, phone me and say, yo, yeah, or, I'm going to be there Yeah, this time. exactly. Do you understand what I'm saying? Phone him back like, yo, bro. Um, yo, bro, when you reckon you're going to be here, innit? I was like, oh, yeah, give me like an hour. Give me like an hour. And I'm just sorting out a few things. I'm like, cool, bro. Imagine that um, another hour has gone past. Still no contact. Ring him. Rings me out. And texts me, yo, j I can't lie, like, man, I had to send some, um, send like four bags to Congo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to my mom, innit? In my head. You make as much money as I do. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, why are you using my money? My money. I'm, I'm, I'm baffled, bro. Like, uh huh. Do you understand what I'm saying? So this guy's got peas. He's got peas. Like, as, 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 as at the time, as far as I'm aware, you, you, you got money because we're on the same stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you understand? Like, you're my guy. Your family. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You, you, you look fresh. You always got nice trainers. Yeah, boom, boom. Like, you, you like, you're not showing me anything. You're not to, struggling. You're not struggling. You're not showing me anything. That's sh- that, that's raising uh, alarm bells. Yeah, yeah. Because we do the same stuff. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I've rang him like, yo, bro, like, um. What do you mean? Well, what, what, what do you mean you took four quid out of my piece and sent it to your marge? He's like, oh, yeah, man. Oh, one of the girls that man pattern with, she's on holiday. My man can't even get to get to her place type yeah, of yeah. thing. Like, he spun me like that. I was like, oh, yeah, cool, cool. Still no, no alarm bells. Do you understand what I'm saying? So there's 11 quid left to bring, right? So yeah. I bring, I said, right, cool, cool, how long do you get? Like, give me like 30 minutes. Another hour has gone past, still no 11 bags. Rang him, phone's off. I forget, what the, like, what's getting on here? Mm-hmm. I'm baffled, brother. I'm like, huh? But it wasn't, like I said, the money, I didn't, it wasn't urgent, innit? It was just like, yo, I remember having 15 quid from my man from when I, when I, um, when I was in like, jail, basically, come out, 
like bring my pee, but, but yeah. it wasn't an urgent thing. So now imagine, obviously, phone's off now. I'm thinking, huh, this is weird. Next morning, next morning now, yeah. My man takes him on a paragraph, but I swear to God, I still got the screenshot on my phone bro, somewhere in it, yeah. It's like, yo, bro, can't lie, man, fucked up, innit? Said, yo, you ain't gonna see me, see man till July. July was like, I think like four months away at the time or something. It's like, you ain't gonna see man till July. If you try to ring, text him man off a different number. If you try to ring this number, the SIM card snapped. Like, huh? The SIM card snapped. It's like, bro, I can't lie, I fucked up. Um, I'm gonna graft and get your get your pee back in it, get your full 15 bags in it, like in July in it. Like, I, I, I fucked up. And I'm thinking, what the fuck? I'm, okay. I'm baffed. So I'm ringing my brethren. My brethren said, yeah, but my man texted him and saying, yo, like you was too, like like you was moving a bit mad. Ask keep asking for the pee and that that that, that he's dealing with saying he's gonna see us in July. So I'm like, yo, my man's a weird. Like this is weird. Like you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So now I actually just laid off of him. Until July. Most of his family is like, his mum was in Congo at the time, but his family's in a different place, isn't it? Yeah. And the only family he had here was his sister. Yeah. And he was staying with his sister at the time. But it's like, obviously, his sister just moved yards. She just bought a yard. His sister just bought a yard. So I knew where the older just was. But you didn't know new I didn't one. know where the new one, because it's like, I don't need to, I don't need to like, in my head, yeah, there's a lot, there's some people, yeah, I'll be real. There's a lot of people man will link on a day-to-day -day basis that I don't really trust, but man will just, like, I can't lie, like, reveal, not revealing a secret, but because no, no, no one's going to know who I'll do it to, but there's a lot of people I link here, but I'll note down, like, where I link you, where, 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 where I last linked you, bro, on my notepad, but my mum's life, bro, I'll show you right now, bro. Like, see certain man that I think that's a bit, like, spooky, a bit, that's a bit, skept a bit skeptical of, I'll just I'll quickly just note down and link my man here. Like, no, I mean, if there's ever a situation where man's got to come looking for you, bro, like, yeah, I'm find you <laughs> I'll find you, bro. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, like, do you get me? So, but when my man's saying his sisters move yards, he's never in that that ca category of, yo, man's going gonna, man's gonna to have to find you one day. Like, he's never in that category. So, is that if I ever come pick you up, I'll know where your sister's new house yeah. is. But in my his head, family it's, at the it's end not, of the yeah, day. exactly. It's, it's, not, gonna, it's, not pri it's not priority to, to oh, where, where's your sister moves? We'll try and find that. No, it's not priority. Do you understand what I'm saying? So now, when he's saying you wait till July, in my head I'm thinking, you know what? what? Is, like, fuck it, it. I'll just wait till July. Like, I'll, I'll cop my whip anyway. It's not, I didn't need that pee to cop it, but it's just like I wanted my dough in, innit? Whatever. July comes now. Nothing. S still no money, bro. <laughs> so there's, there's still no bees, bro. Like, what's, what, what's going on? Like, I said, yo, bro, this guy's taking a fucking piss, you know? Like, it's in July, get four months. Do you get it? And it's like, in my head, I kind of doubted it would have been July because it's like, bro, like, you're making change your man and man, man's the one that's patterning. Yeah. You get, I'm making that, like, making the, making things happen, bro. So it's like, yeah, you can probably, you can still stand on your own, innit? it? But it's like, not 15 quid in that. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I, I know, I know my, like, I know, you know how much my bridges, people around you are yeah, making. Yeah, exactly. I know my bridges. So it's like, 15 quid to give a, give away that like, when you don't have it right now in four months when you're not around man it's just, like, you're not gonna make I, I'm not really doubt, I'm doubting that basically you get it July has come give him his time still still nothing no contact nothing I said you know what bruv I wanna go looking for my man now bruv because bro, this, this is my dog but he's taking a fucking piss bro <laughs> so I've gone there now and obviously he was like I see one person he was patterning with in, yeah. the, in the area that I went to. I see someone he was patterning with. So I'm kind of like, the first time I stuck it on them, I said, yo, have you have you, have you seen my man that? So no, nah, I ain't seen my man in time. You get me? Like, he ain't been around here. Cool, I was like, cool. No left, left the crib now, yeah? Le left, left, left my man's, my, my man's place. But I kind of like, he had a window open. So I was just, I was just um, stood by the window and I hear, my man phone in Donny. I said, like, yo, yeah. bro, like, don't come right here, you know. Like, my man come looking for you, bro. So I'm like, yeah, cool, say nothing. Come back another time. Seen the same guy in it. I was like, yo, bro, you see that time I come last time? I heard you on the phone, bro. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So my man, so here's what's going to happen now. Obviously, the reason why I came back and left, you might have, so some viewers might know why I came back and left in it and didn't do it straight away in it. 
so, so, some of you lot might, might catch on to it later but I'll come back now I say yo brother yeah, yeah I don't want to get me but you, you, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean yeah. anyway yeah? I say yo brother you see that time that you said that you didn't see, see Donny for like couple months he was lying to man so here's what's gonna happen bad man yeah <laughs> here's what's gonna happen you're gonna follow my man you're gonna link him right now you know what I'm saying yeah cool my man's obviously listen he's shook obviously <laughs> yeah, <it>. yeah boom <laughs> he's speaking fuck this man's, yeah the man's sniffing yo you, you should be bro yeah <laughs> <laughs> boom so he's phoned up he's phoned up my man so yeah boom boom my man's obviously come linked him so now Come with my man now. Uh. See my brethren, my man look like he's seen a ghost, cuz. Yeah? This is family, you know? Yeah. Like, I looked at man, like he's seen a ghost. My man started cutting. Do you get me? But I'm with one of my brethren, yeah? Because mm-hmm. I was in the back seat of this whip, and the guy that he was linking was in the front seat. Okay, you know, okay, okay. Him, yeah? Cool. My brethren, my brethren was driving, so he's bust the door and he's seen my man running. Because they're bridges as well, but he said, yo, my man's violated. My man started cutting out. He's cutting out, bro. My bridge is cutting out. So I'm, oh, I had to put the seat forward because it was a, like a yeah, two yeah, door. Yeah, two yeah. Door. Put the seat boom. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, chasing him. Like, boom, boom, boom. I said, yo, stop fucking. Like. So yeah, I cut out that name anyways, yeah. Stop, stop running. Stop running, bro. Chasing him, chasing him. Boom, boom, boom. My man's cutting out. Boom, boom, boom. But obviously, my guy's in front of him and he's mad fit. Mad <laughs> fit, yeah. I'm fit as well, yeah. But yeah, my man's chasing him. Boom, Gri- gripped him now. And where he was, like he was, he had all like the locals on his side, didn't it? Yeah. Where the area was, I don't want to say the area, but the area was like, leave him alone, leave him alone. So I was like, yo, why, are you, like, why are you running, bro? Like, yeah. chat to man, bro. Like, you're my dog. Like, boom, boom. All locals are trying to come. I remember my brother was, was gripping him. He told me, yo, J dot, like, go, go get the, go get the car, in it. Boom. My, my brother, my guy's just on him now. Yeah, just on lap. Like, White lady just hitting him with a slipper, like, <laughs> <laughs> with a slipper, like. He's, he's just like, bro, like he's gripping, gripping my man, cause my man's, my bridge is trying to wrestle out of this yeah, situation, yeah. my brother. You get me? I took the car, drove now. I said, bro, listen, like, bro, stop, bro, it's yo, it's done in it. Like, bro, you're coming with man, bro. Like, it's done. Like, just chill out, bro. So, ah, cool, cool. You know what? I fucked up in it. Come, let's go. Like, come, let's talk about it. Boom, drove off in it. But these times the locals are saying, don't go in, don't get in the car, all of that, yeah? yeah. Cool, man, man's obviously in that. It's just said, yo, you know what? It's cool, it's cool, it seems to them. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. They're, they're my bridges, they're my friends, isn't it? Man, man's in the back seat. Uh, I'm in the passenger seat. The guy that brought man to him, he's uh, left him on the Fuck road, him. yeah? <laughs> Fuck him, bro. <laughs> yeah? Listen, this mom is mad, yeah? So now, obviously, man's cutting back to like, to where my, my size is now. I'm saying, yo, bro, like, so from what I'm going for you, bro, like, for my, yo, man left you in charge of one, two, you get me on my recall and what? You just you ducked out my 15 quid, like, what's going on, bro? Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, what, what's that? Like, what's going on? He's like, oh, bro, man. You get me at, at the time. I said, bro, like, you make, I said, you make paper, bro, like, what, what, like come on, fam, like, we, we, we did Obviously, cool. Sat him down there, uh, speaking to him. But it's mad car. It's mad car. At the time, yeah, I brought him. I brought him like I was closer to my mum's house. I brought yeah. him to my mum's house, bro. Like after after that occasion, I brought him to my mum's house. That's how that's how much of family you are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you understand? I, I brought you to my mum's house to page you, bro. Do you understand that? Like, yeah. You come see my family. Like because my family knows what you've done, so you you come now because you're gonna be so embarrassed now. You, you like, my mom's like your mom, like do you know, understand what I'm saying? Happen. So yo, like yo, what, like what's good, bro? Like oh, J dot man, I've been getting through it, what what not? Do you get me? Like my mom's like, obviously turns out my mom had a gambling addiction that no one knew about, and that's why like he never had peas around him exactly. Do you understand what I'm saying? So my like my man had a mad gambling addiction. He's making good money, but just gambling it. Gambling all. everything, yeah. everything, and it's like so when, when when that's happening, when he's telling man that, I'm like, I'm thinking, oh my days, like I'm saying to my brother, yo, why are we not clock on? Because like I said, my man's always coming fresh, looks like man. Do you understand what I'm saying? He he can we go out to eat with girls or whatever. He can hold his he can hold his own. He can. He, he, I mean, like, he's not showing us no signs of, yo, this guy is low. This guy is, 
Yeah, yeah. You're not showing my no signs. That was the first sign. I left him in charge of something <laughs> that, that that was mine. And boom, my boom. man, my man, that uh, fucked up. Fifteen quid, dodgy man, all of that. You understand what I'm saying? So I was, yo, bro, we've got mad like, like, bro, like, what mad gambling? And he's not chatting shit, cut. Yeah, it's real. He's it's real, bro. Like, whatever. You get me? He's like, bro, I need help and that. So man, obviously helped him. A lot of people when I tell people this story, they're like, oh, what you didn't bang him up? Nah, bro, like, my man's family, bro, like. I've banged up man for for way less than 15 quid do you understand what I'm for saying that like, I've knocked man out for way less than 15 <laughs> quid but the, circum, the circumstances were very different do you understand what I'm saying so it's like yeah it's just like yeah you know what help him out man like, forgive him and that what, what not like man I forgave him in it but still like I'll still say that's the most do you chat to him now? Yeah, I still chat to him still he paid back every penny innit it's family though he paid, yeah, he paid back every it. penny and clearly he was in a situation where he fucked up that's the truth but the long thing is when they air you, they start running. The, bro, just say, yo, I ain't got the peas right now. Yeah. I'll get you the money. I even like, bro, you see on Snapchat, yeah, one thing that was getting off on my Snapchat, I even done a thing called J-Dot's Debtors, innit? Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I done a thing called J-Dot's Debtors, where like, bro, I started applying pressure on people, yeah, that all oh, man change, that are taking a piss. Because a lot of these men that all oh, man change, a lot of men think that they're money, man, bro. That oh they, they they do their thing, you understand what I'm saying, bro? So I was like saying, yo, bro, listen, you don't have my change on this day, bro. Man's gonna put you up, put your face up, bro. I'm gonna name, start naming and shaming you. That same week, that, you got paid. That same week, yeah, bam, had to pay me my change. <laughs> like, man, right on protecting their image. Yeah, that's all. That's all. The, over all the, all it matters like, now. The, their reality. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I've like, done the thing for J-Dot's debtors and the fans are just going mad. Like, yo, put his face. I said, listen, this guy, he's got he's got until 6 p.m. to be my chick. Man, I'm running. Like, it happened. Like, it's only the other day when man actually baited at someone's face because they weren't playing ball. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's one, one you from Gasquane, bro, man. One dicker from Gasquane. Bro, my man's trying to lie to me that he's in jail and that, bro. Man's getting told that he's been sighted, bro. You people, you be, you got sighted, bro. Are you telling me you're impenetrable, bro? Man's got bare, bare some of my niggas are impenetrable right now. No one's seen you, bro. Do you understand what I'm saying? My gas going low like, bro. Can't lie, we don't even fuck with my man. I'm putting him up, man. Do you get me? It's a cool, bro. It's one, one, one dickhead you could Danish. <laughs> you get me? If you're watching this, run my bread because I'm still gonna get it out of the way, bro. <laughs> How much do you owe you? I was not even much, bro, but it's just the way you're dealing it's with man, bro. If the way someone owes you money, pay the bro, money. You're, the way you're dealing with man. It's all good in that. Obviously, you don't want to say why you owe me money. But it's all good in that when it's that time and to take everything on the arm and yeah, but bro, bro, like, do you get me? <sighs> well, come on, man. Just pay your debts, man. So look, That's obviously, me. clearly money ain't an issue for you right now, yeah? You're, you're up. You're doing your thing. you got peas. Mm. But there must have been times where you struggled. You can't yeah. sit here and sit across me and say, oh, I've never struggled. I've always had money. Yeah. What's your biggest financial struggles you've had? Um... Finance, biggest financial struggle, yeah. Like I would say, the the biggest the biggest hit I've t taken to date, yeah. People, have to, I don't really compare it, but my biggest hit is fifty bags at once. That's my biggest hit. That's my biggest loss. So your biggest, like, your biggest win. Oh, fucking you know. Because but like after after biggest win in what? I'm just gonna throw some pictures up of all it, this all this stuff <laughs> that you know you was in California. <laughs> Trips, chilling, and all of this stuff. I so you man can decide what his biggest win is, isn't it? <laughs> biggest hits as a, as a team, I would say like definitely over a million quid. Ah. Yeah, but as a team, but that obviously after splits and that, I just probably get down to about one fifty, two hundred. You get me, like nice me. money, bro. Yeah, it's alright, isn't it? <laughs> but fucking yeah, no, my my biggest my biggest L till date till date is um fifty bags at once. I've had, I've had other I've had other L's like uh, other L's, but that's the biggest one, isn't it? At once. And, and how did that affect you when you lost that money? At the time. Was that the, a lot of money to you then? At the time, I, I can't lie. Like, I, I think fifty quid's a lot of money to anybody. Oh, so hundred so, percent. Yeah, but no, as in, was you making enough money where that, that I could 50, take that hit? Yeah. Basically, it's like when I took the fifty quid hit, yeah. It was mad. Because 50 grand is 50 grand at the end of the day. Someone's fucking yearly salary. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah, not a yeah, joke. Yeah. Like, I can't lie. It was, it was, it was a mad situation because I, I don't want, like, obviously, someone, someone's gone and done their time already. Like, <laughs> but, but, 
obviously fucking um, yeah nah, at the time it, it was a big hit but I still I still laugh at like it's mad because even in the more serious situations I'll still be laughing do you understand what I'm you saying you gotta win it you gotta be happy like, man. Like, yeah like I was like oh my days and it's like it was mad car one of my older brethren's yeah I'll call, I'll call him out let me, let me just say my older innit? I'm, yeah. I'm a big man now but I still still grew man yeah, innit, yeah? um at the time I was saying, yo, Jada, I can't lie, bro, you're moving, moving mad. You just come out of jail. <laughs> Fucking, you've already bought two Range Rovers. Like, you're, you're moving a bit mad, my brother. Like, yeah. like, yo, like, you're doing this, like, you need to switch up your patterns and I won't listen in it. I mean, because I always thought, well, man's not a gangbanger, that I'm not really on the radar. Do you understand? I'm always kind of like, I always I had that type of mentality that, like, oh, when man's not a gangbanger, I can kind of do what I like. They're not looking at me, man. They're looking at, like, feds not like violence. They're looking at all the youths that do all the violent stuff. They get me. I just, I just make my pee. You get me? Obviously, fucking, yeah. So when I took that 50 quid, it was, it was a lot of money, but I, it just meant that man had to kind of go back hands on for a bit. Car, obviously, with the fifty quid L, I lost, I lost people as well, not just money. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? But yeah, I'll say that. Yeah, that's my biggest L to date, hundred percent. Hopefully, I hopefully I don't take. Like I've kind of programmed and positioned myself where I can't take a, can't take that type of like big L, L again in one one go. That but that's the main sense. thing. You learn from it. That's what I mean. Yeah, exactly. Look, we have discussed a load of shit today. Mm. Let's wrap it up with what you got going on right now. I see you sitting there in a nice little tracksuit. Yeah. Talk to us about that a little bit. I see uh, all real merch. Do you follow me? This is my my own brand. Yeah. So yeah, man, I got the website up. I linked up with um I linked up with a uh, one guy that's got his own clothing line as well, um Belzeni. Okay. Yeah. So like he was sending man some stuff. He was sending man some stuff like, and. I get sent a lot of stuff. You get me? I get DMs a lot. Get sent a lot of stuff, but I don't really, I don't really fuck with a, a lot of people's stuff. So when my mom was sending me his stuff, I was like, "Yo, you know what? Like, I rate this shit." Yeah, yeah, man, man, rate it, innit? Like, yo, I rate this stuff. Boom, boom. I was like, you know what? I've always kind of wanted to start up a clothing line. When I was young, I'd do like little designs <laughs> yeah. and go to the print shop and say, "Yo, can you print this on the top?" And you get me, but I said, "Bro, I rate your thing. So if you if you can help design my thing, so my man, we kind of linked up." And yeah, like he's he's the designer behind behind all real, um, yeah. And I just lo- I launched the website in January, like start of the year, and yeah, just been getting sales. Fans have been supporting. You get me? It's doing so, well, isn't it? So yeah, it's, it's another well, source of income for you. Yeah, hundred percent. It's another way you got you got to get as many as possible. Obviously, music. Yeah. About to drop a tape. I should have dropped that. I wanted to drop it a bit earlier, but uh, just getting all like the features in and that, wrapping all of that stuff up. Um, yeah, that should be out April. April, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know, call that one Cockney Crop Cutter. Cockney Crop Cutter, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and fighting? Um, fighting, yeah. We haven't so, even touched on that yet. Yeah, no, we ain't even touched on that. So, yeah, like, obviously, man got into that one. Like, age, age 14. What is he do? Kickboxing? Kickboxing, yeah, okay. and I I just started boxing as well, innit? it? Like, okay. um, I've been boxing for like just under a year now. Enjoying it? Yeah, enjoying it. So with with the boxing thing, I'm gonna do a couple of amateurs. I'm gonna do a couple of amateurs like um later on in the year. But I got uh, I got to declare like my kickboxing fights as well because they're yeah. not gonna put me in the ring with someone who ain't been in the ring before. You get me? But with kickboxing, um, I've had a had a fight. I had. A, Basically, I stopped doing kickboxing for like a two-year period when I was on license, and then when I um, when I came off of license, I went to, I went to live in uh, Thailand. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Live three months in it, like still, a training camp out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I went um to one gym called Balance Muay Thai. Yeah. Colors, Colors Miyagi is the one that runs it, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. Like, you, you remember Colors? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So obviously, yeah, he, obviously that's his gym. So yeah, man went out there, and um, yeah, my brethren put me onto him, so made an introduction, and just yeah, man got back into shape. Like, it's from, different out there, it's isn't it? Mad, it's crazy. Like man's, like bro, like man's getting schooled, bro. I, I'm hearing like you sleep anywhere, like underneath the ring and shit. Yeah, something obviously me. I was like, I couldn't. I'm not, I'm not built for that, bro. <laughs> yeah, like, but that's what me. that's what they do out but, there. But yeah, no, nah, so, like obviously, colors now. Nah, he's got he's got like he's he's actually got his um. Academy kind of thing in place. Yeah, he, so he's he's built, he's he extended a gym, he's built rooms and that. 
Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay, okay, okay. So it's like, only reason I wouldn't go to a gym and sleep there is because I don't let people know my location. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, my, my hundred, like, yo, yeah, where you're, easy Where, you're, there, where like, you're resting your head. Yeah, like, no, nah, that's dead. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, if you know the place, you know the place, and if it's if it's that time, it's that time, and it's God's plan in it. But 100%. if I can avoid you knowing exactly where I'm staying, I'm gonna avoid it. I'm gonna avoid it, bro. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, for real, so, for real. Yeah. So like, I went there three months. At the time, when I came out of jail, I was like, um, I, I, I was doing sessions with like um, Leon Wills. He does. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I know Leon Wills. Yeah, like obviously that that we got way back. Like we easy, like we go way back from like when I first started this kickboxing thing. Okay. When I come out of jail, boom, linked up with him. Leon, he does all that like, KSI, Deji, yeah. and like, all of that. You get me, he linked up with him, but it weren't like structured sessions because he's like my brethren. So it's just like training with like, your let, 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 let me, yeah, I'm coming to the gym. Like boom, boom. When I like, I won't even tell him sometimes. Yeah, go on, Jado, put on your gloves. Boom, boom. We we'll do some work. So like, that's when I first come out of jail, and then when I come off license, I said, right, look, it's go time now, innit? Like. It's now or never type of thing that, yo, you've been fucking around with the sport for a couple of years. Just go for it now, innit? So I went um, balance my attire, three months by myself. No brethren's, nothing, none of that. You get me? No brethren's, they even, even at the time, they even, even have intentions of partying, innit? But then yeah, yeah. I found out about the nightlife. Oh, okay. <laughs> you get me? You gotta watch out for the lady boys and that, you get me? But yeah, every, apart from that, everything's cushy. Um, yeah, so went there. I was 87 kilos when I went there. I came back 75 kilos. Lost 12, 12 kilos. But now you're full of muscle. Yeah, you're probably yeah, just yeah, yeah. shredded. Yeah, it's mad. So it's like, I lost 12 kilos without even trying, bro. That's you mad. That's what I'm saying. And then come back and just come back, continued with that. I had my first bout back in um, November. I had my first bout back in November. So yeah, I won that one. And then had a fight. In Feb- February the fourth, just gone. Yeah, won right. that one first round TKO, smashed in, smashed in his <laughs> leg, <laughs> smashed in his leg. He didn't want no part of it. Yeah, <laughs> and then I'll send you the footage of that. And then, um, yeah, my next fight is April the eighth. Good luck. So, Good yeah, luck. April the eighth. So you're gonna drop your track, and you're getting a five and a fight in April, yeah? Yeah. So I'll, 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 I'll drop my mixtape just after my fight, like around about just after my fight. Yeah. Just go, and then obviously. I don't really, I don't want to, don't want it to get to my head and that, but my coach is saying that I should be fighting for a British title soon and that, so. Yeah? Do you get me? Good luck, bro. Yeah. That's all I can but say, innit? With, with kickboxing, the aim is like one championship and that. That's probably like two, three years, maybe. Like, I don't like putting a, don't like time putting a time scale on things, innit? But that's, that's the aim, one championship. And then, oh, so you, you do fighting as well, no? Yeah, yeah, I done Muay Thai a little bit as well. Yeah. Muay Thai, Muay Thai, that's what I was going to say. Muay Thai is different. Yeah, yeah, it's mad. So what, you do MMA, no? Yeah, I've done MMA. So you, you still doing it now or? Nah, I just kind of just stopped all that shit at the minute. You don't even train? Nothing at all. Nothing. Not, not even weights? No, I go gym. You go gym, yeah. been tra- Do you know what it is? My, I was training in Muay Thai in, where was it? It was in Kent somewhere. What's it called, man? Kettles. Nah, it's called, fuck, I've lost my head, man. I forgot where it was. It was in, not Gravesend. Yeah. Some place in Kent. S- S- Swanscombe. I don't know. It was in Kent somewhere. I think it might have been Kendall's, you know. Maybe. I was training. The coach is called Dan. I'm not too sure what the coach's name is. But training there. And the problem is, I've moved, I've moved from down to North London again. And I can't, bro. It's, it, like, I've got to be there at 9 o'clock in the morning. I'm waking up at like 7 o'clock. I'm not a robot, bro. I'm finishing here at like 1 o'clock in the morning. Going home. There's no way I'm waking up at them times. Like, no chance. It's long. But I need at least 8 hours, man. Minimum. Yeah. 8, 9, 10, 11 maybe. <laughs> Depends what I'm up to. <laughs> But no, listen, yeah. is there anything else you want to touch on? Um, I think I think we've given them plenty. Yeah, I think I've come I think I've come across. To be honest, I've got my own music studio now, but I don't need I don't link myself to it, innit? Cause, okay. Because get me. Like, I don't <laughs> but I've got my like not no little bedroom thing. A proper like music a studio. Proper in the industry studio. But I just don't I don't link myself to it because it's just and it's not under all real whatever, innit? It's probably it's not, better like yeah, that though. Yeah, it's probably yeah, better yeah, not linking yourself studios, to it. Studios, barbershops. It's a red <laughs> flag, you get me? Yeah, like if I'm reading you and my well, there's people that I don't get along with that go to my studio. Oh, <laughs> yeah, mom's like, but I'm laughing yeah, but it's at you. Like that, I'm laughing getting... at you because, bro, you see, you see that money you put in my pocket? Well, well I'm buying with that, bro. <laughs> yeah, that, like there's a lot it's of calm. people that I don't get along with that are in my music studio. 
And they don't even know. Bro, everyone in music studios right now is going to be checking who owns that studio. <laughs> bro, like, fuck that. You will never know. Because when I turn up to my old music studio, I'll go there as an artist. It's better like that. Though. Yeah, it's I don't really like like want them to treat me like, treat, like... Obviously, they take more time mixing my stuff and they know I'm going to strip to your mouth send this back to you, but I'm going to do it again. Do you get it? Well, apart from that, yeah. That big artists go to my studio. They never know that is mine. Put, well, I've, put, uh, like, in, I've invested like over 50 grand in it. Proper, proper thing, not all mediocre thing. Like proper thing. Labels hit me up. Oh, I just want to be in there for the next six weeks. And calm, pay up, let's go. But now listen, pleasure having you on the show. I think a lot of people are going to enjoy this. I think a lot of your fans are going to enjoy listening to the shit you've been up to. <laughs> but nah, genuinely, pleasure having you on the show, man. Guys, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and go grab some merch as well. <laughs>